Number one, when people say we only can spend what we have, it's an odd thing to say because we control what we have. <laughs> it's not like we are given an amount of money from some source from outside and that's what we can spend. We decide what the tax rates are, we decide what the fee rates are, we decide what the tax breaks are. We decide all that. So we make the decision as to what we can spend, uh, what, we, what we have. So to say we can only have what we spend ignores the fact that we control that. And it also implies that we have no choice in what we do, that the policies that are made in this chamber and the effects that they have on people are something that are just forced on us. And we are sort of innocent vehicles uh, for realities beyond our control. And again, we all know that's, that's not true. Now, previous speakers have said, well, no one wants to pay more to the state government. If you take a poll and ask someone, do you want to pay more taxes, the answer will be no. And I agree uh, that, is the, that is probably the answer you would get. I would say that you know, I've, I've sp spent a lot of time in politics, as most of us have in our life. I know a lot about polling. I know a lot about how you get answers to questions. Of course, if you ask someone, do you want to spend more money out of your pocket in a vacuum, people are going to say no. But what's interesting is when you ask people, do you think we should neglect our schools? Do you think that we should shred our safety net? Do you think that we should not provide adequate funds to protect our air and our water? You know what? People say no to that too. That's the same polls that people say no to. The fact is then when you juxtapose the two issues, would you pay more taxes if you knew that it would make the schools better? People say yes. So of course people aren't going to say they want to pay more money to the government uh, for, with no apparent purpose, uh, but they will spend money to make our schools and our, and our roads better. It, 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 if you, you know, the pe people of Pennsylvania and the people of the United States, I, do, I believe, they're not hard-hearted people. They're not people who are indifferent to the, to the um, condition of their society. If you ask people in my district, and I can only go by my district, do you want to invest in the public schools, they say yes. When you ask people in my district, do you want to hire enough water quality inspectors and others who will go out and make sure that the industries that are pro pro uh, providing energy in the state are doing so safely and in a way that does not harm people or animals or wildlife or the environment generally? They will say yes. They will say yes overwhelmingly. If you ask people, is it a good idea to cut off all cash assistance for the poorest people in Pennsylvania, they don't like that. That's what they say. And you ask people, you know, there are 800,000 people in Pennsylvania that right now don't have health insurance. We've increased that number by eliminating adult basic and other policies that we do. That. Is that a good idea? The people say no. So I think that, you know, we have to look, if we're going to make the argument that we're doing what the people of Pennsylvania want, we should be accurate about what the people of Pennsylvania want. And I would also say, You know, someone said, we can't play Santa Claus. And I think, frankly, with due respect, that is demeaning. We are not playing Santa Claus. We are not giving gifts on Christmas morning. When you provide health care for a sick child, that is not Santa Claus. When you provide uh, enough money for someone to be able to afford a lousy flop room to, to lay down so they don't have to lay down on the streets at night, that's not Santa Claus. That's some, not some Christmas morning thing. When you tell a kid that, who lives in a poor neighborhood that we're going to give you a, an education that will enable you to someday get out of this poor neighborhood, that is not Christmas morning. That is not Santa Claus. And the people, you know, the idea that the people of Pennsylvania are saying not one penny, not one more penny for schools, not one more penny for any of these things if it comes out of my pocket is just not accurate. And beyond that, People keep quoting the private sector. The private sector doesn't want that. The private sector doesn't want us to neglect education because those are the people who are, there, who are going to be working in the jobs in the, next, uh, in the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years. They don't want us to neglect roads and bridges because that's how they get to work and that's how they move their products. So I would just say, you know, as we consider this budget 
and as we consider future budgets, that we should really not fall for the idea that we are forced to neglect basic roles of government and to forced to neglect our society in a way that's harmful uh, to our society. And there's one more thing that troubled me when someone said, you know, so, some family is struggling, so we're going to do with less. That impl I, I don't know what that means, we're going to do with less. The money, just so everyone's clear, it doesn't go to us. I mean, we're not spending this money on, you know, beer and knockworsh or whatever it is for, the, for legislators. This money is going to poor people, this money is going to kids all across the Commonwealth, this money is going to roads, this money is going to law enforcement, but more than that, it's going to programs that would make it unnecessary to spend money on law enforcement because they are proven to reduce crime. Okay, so when we're doing with less, what we're saying is that's framed in such a way that it's somehow we're doing something noble. When we say we're doing with less, what we really mean is that poor kids are doing with less and that people who are sick are doing with less and that people who are handicapped or people who are elderly are doing with less or that people who, uh, you know, have, um, you know, a, a road in front of their house that hasn't been fixed for a long time and they can't get to work. Those are the people who are doing with less. We're fine either way. It's not us that has anything at stake in this budget. It's the people of Pennsylvania who desperately need the services that, in my view, we are not funding adequately. And I just wanted to make it clear that that's really what's at stake here. Thank you, Mr. President.